What's going on, guys? I uh, went to a comic sale today. A uh, local guy here had a trying to clean out some stock uh, to make room for some new stock, and uh, I couldn't pass it up. So, grabbed a bunch of comics. I figured you guys might get a kick out of uh, checking some of them out because I know some of you guys think what I collect is kind of all over the place. <laughs> so, sorry. I saw a Reese's cup sitting downstairs and I couldn't let it go. Picked up a stack. Try to burn through them as fast as I can. It's about this big. <laughs> so, it's not going to be a two minute video. Start off with Lady Death Vampirella, Chaos Comics. For you fiends out there, I will not be keeping some of these, by the way. Uh, Insane Clown Posse, The Ups and Downs of the Wicked Clowns, number one. I'm not an ICP guy. Don't like the music, don't like the rap. Honestly, don't like the comic. But the detail is uh, its crazy. It's almost McFarlane-ish. And I flip through the inside and it looks like the same kind of stuff, so... Uh, St. Clown Posse, Raise the Deserts of Glass, uh, issue number one. Some of these I will have to press because the spines are a little ticked, but overall, pretty good shape. Uh, St. Clown Posse, number two. I don't know. There's no subtitle to it, so. That one. Uh, Avalon Studios, Aria, Aria, Aria. Uh, number one from Image, it is a Michael Turner cover. Kind of like a mix of sketch and uh, color. Ish. So those are the ones I'm not keeping. These are the ones I am keeping. Uh, My Little Pony Friends Forever, number 18. Yeah, My Little Pony. <clears throat> number 17. I know you guys don't care about that stuff. There's only one of the covers that's actually kind of cool. Number 19. These aren't any homages or anything like that. So, this is the one that I thought was kind of fun. It is uh, number 33. It's a subscription cover. It's got like a bunch of vampires and stuff like Dracula, stuff like that on it. Which, yeah, it's not um, uh, whatever that stupid vampire movie is. I can't remember. All right. Uh, this is uh, Mega City 909 from Devil's Due Press. I just like the covers. The actual interior art actually doesn't look too bad either. So, um, number one. Damn it. Number two. Number three. Number two. Number five. Number six. That kind of has an apple seed sort of look to it almost. Number seven. I ran out of bags and boards, so I wasn't able to bag and board any of these. Uh, number eight. This is the Mark Lee cover. And number nine, which is the cover by Zod, Z-O-D-D-D. -D -D. Excuse me. Uh, then I have Image United number zero, which is the uh, Larson cover. Issue number one, which looks like it's part of the connecting covers. Issue number three, which is another connecting cover. Uh, this one is called Igrat, Igrat, I I-G-R-A-T, I-C-R-A-T. It is a uh, Danzig comic. It's uh, issue number one. My wife kind of digs the art. It's a little weird to me, but... This one I passed on a bunch of times, mostly because it's been damaged in some form or fashion. I found a really nice copy. High Impact. It's an indie company. But, I mean, it is like super, super shiny. It's that weird metal and honestly the artwork is pretty horrible but yeah it's shiny 
Uh, haunt number 25 is just a run filler that I needed. Uh, Mars Attacks number one from top Tops. And it also has a flip. So, two different covers. Uh, the Mask. Movie adaptation. I'm a sucker for movie adaptations. And this was a great, great flick. Jim Carrey did a hell of a job. Awesome movie. I love it. I grabbed them both. Uh, man, blah, 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 blah. Miami Mice. Uh, it is the premiere issue, so it's not even issue number one. It's like, I guess, what issue number zero would be. No. Uh, this one by North Star Comic Company called Miseroth. I just like it because it's shiny. I uh, got some Transformers. Uh, Robots in Disguise, number three. Nothing special. So, I know uh, Brian Daniels grabbed a bunch of uh, ant issues from uh, Chuck up north. I was kind of bummed because I collect that run. But I was able to find six, seven, and ten. So there's six, seven. Man, that's a, that's a booty shot right there. That looks like a Cho uh, cover. <laughs> this one, too. Uh, number eight. And number ten. Honestly, it started out where I just wanted the homage to... Spider-Man number one, and I grabbed it, and then uh, now I kind of want to read the whole run to see what that chick's like. Uh, Arachnophobia, the official movie adaptation. This is a thick one, too, man. This thing's like two comics thick, three comics thick. Uh, this one was one for the wife, Aliens, Earth Wars. She likes that H.R. Geiger art. Uh, Transformers, Drift, Empire Stone, number three. I just liked... Uh, like the cover that's uh the megatron or well it's in the, his name's not megatron it's something else but pretty cool uh transformers uh more than meets i number this was a 37 uh 38 35 uh aspen splash 2009 swimsuit spectacular Michael Turner cover issue number zero this one I think I already have it but this was in much better shape it's a uh, boogeyman just looks creepy and goofy it's featuring Jim Pilata's pumpkin head uh, this one Luis you might you might dig this one bud uh, legendary vampirella uh, but it is a steampunk style, and it is all Benitez work right there, baby. That's some good shit. Oh, that's good stuff. Uh, Little Nemo, Return to Slumberland, number three. It's uh, one of the covers that I needed. This one, honestly, I can't believe I didn't have this. I looked up on my CLZ. I didn't have it, so now I do. Lobo the Duck. Uh, Legends of Luxura. I guess that's how I say it. Brainstorm Comics. Um, has a crease in the spine, but it still looks pretty good. And it's, of course, you know, embossed and shiny. And check this out. So uh, it was printed in 1996. This damn thing was $10. 15 Canadian because it's the gold edition. Man, gimmicks are stupid expensive. Uh, Kirk Lindo's uh, Luxuria. It's the Heroes Convention from Charlotte, North Carolina uh, issue. Con exclusive, I guess, maybe? I don't know. It's all black and white. And... Uh, Lynch Mob, number four. So now I have the entire run. And last but not least, you can't buy a collection without picking up a McBain number one. Hey, McBain. Mm, that's all I know. So, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy. Hope you had a good weekend. Take care.